Hi, during the month of May, I will be sharing with you every Saturday during our Home Connections email about different ways to pray and care for ourselves in body, mind, and spirit during these challenging times. You know, I had lunch today with a friend named Betty on her patio. Betty's 95 years old, and she told me today that she has a way of looking at things that helps her during these times. She said, instead of looking at this as a challenging time, she said, I choose to look at this as a time of discovery and adventure. And I thought that was wise advice coming from one of our elders. So I look forward to this time of discovery and adventure with you over the next month, discovering new ways to pray and care for ourselves in body, mind, and spirit. So every week I'll be talking about a, a certain topic briefly, and then I'll be talking about um, a movement meditation and demonstrating that that can help us through the week as well as a prayer practice that you are invited to do during the week. So today we're going to talk about grief and loss. Since we have been learning more and more about the pandemic over the last two months, there's been more and more loss that we've all experienced. And I'm sure all of us could come up with a long list of losses that we have gone through. Loss of the way that we've always done things. Loss of the being, being able to get together with family and friends. Loss of being able to get together for worship. And I'm sure a lot of um, events and gatherings have been canceled in your life as well as mine. So it's important during these times that we acknowledge those losses and acknowledge the grief and the other feelings that go along with them, rather than trying to put them aside or not be aware of them. And so one way that you can do this is just by simply writing a list of the losses that you've experienced, and then next to them, the feelings that go along with them. And those could be um, anywhere from anxiety and fear, um, sadness, depression, despair, um, all kinds of feelings go with grief. And so it's nice to be able to express them on paper and even put them in the form of a letter to God and express your feelings to God. The other thing that I like to, I like to do along with writing down my griefs is to write down my gratitudes the things that I feel grateful for during this time, even though sometimes it's hard to come up with those things. There's always something to be grateful for. So along with those writing um, forms of expression, we can also do movement to express our grief. And so I'd like to share with you today a form of Qigong, uh, which is similar to Tai Chi, it's a movement meditation that is done all over the world. I shared with you a warm-up to Qigong last Saturday in Home Connections. And during the next month, I'm going to be sharing with you a series of exercises called the Organ Cleanse. And so each exercise goes with an uh, organ of the body and cleanses that organ. And that each organ is also connected to an emotion. So the one that I'm going to focus on today is the organ that's connected to grief, and that's our lungs. Uh, this is also a good time to strengthen our lungs during this pandemic. And so I'm going to show you first how you stand uh, for Qigong, and then we'll do the Qigong organ cleanse for the lungs. So the way you stand is just have your uh, feet shoulder width apart, and your joints loose, your shoulders dropped, and and just have a relaxed posture. So we're going to start with our palms facing the ceiling and we're going to draw the lobes of the lungs with our hands, imaginary lungs like this. So we're going to bend our knees as our hands go down and up and then we're going to come back up with our body like this. So we breathe in here 
and we breathe out here. And the mantra or the phrase that I say with this sometimes is I'll say, I accept and let go of my grief. I accept and let go of my grief. So when we accept our grief, we're able to let it go and release it. So you can do this as many times as you wish to cleanse and clear and strengthen your lungs and to release and accept your grief. So at the end of that, you can just interlace your thumbs like this, put both hands over your belly button, just have your knees relaxed, close your eyes, and take three or four nice deep breaths. Relax. So that's the Qigong exercise for this week. I wish you blessings on your week as you explore different ways to pray and care for yourself in body, mind, and spirit.